details. Coming to Giant Center April 7th through 11th. Soft Rock 100.1 WQRC. My name is Rick Harpel. I'm uh, President and CEO of Harpels Incorporated. Uh, this is our 110th year in business. My great grandfather started the business in 1899. So that's uh, kind of an interesting family-owned business down through the generations, and uh, we're still here pumping away, uh, trying in this economy, but we're, we're hanging in. What was your grandfather's name? My great-grandfather was Luther Grant Harpel, and uh, he had uh, originally uh, started the business uh, taking photos actually in Lebanon around 1895, and then established Harpels Incorporated in uh, 1899. And who followed you? Tell me the line of succession. Okay, it was Luther Grant, and then it was uh, Donald uh, S. Harpel, and he was my grandfather and ran the business through the early uh, 40s, 50s, and 60s, and 70s, and uh, by 1988 he passed on. Uh, my father, David Harpel, David W. Harpel, uh, was the uh, president during that uh, next generation, and now it's, it's myself, Rick. And I saw a lady in a red jacket over there. What is her name? That's my mom. Is that mom? What's <laughs> That's mom's mom. name? That's Ann M. Harpel. So mom helps out mom in the store. Mom helps out in the store. Uh, she's been my uh, retired four times best person I have that you can hire kind of gal. So she's great. She loves the customers, knows how to do everything in the business, and uh, it's changed quite a bit over the years. Uh, but uh, it is uh, quite fun to have her around. And wow. she brings lunch. Well, now that's a perk anybody would enjoy. <laughs> that's what I like. Do you have any other employees? Uh, we do. We have a few here and there. We have a maintenance uh, guy, Larry. We have our new girl, Mary, we're training, uh, and myself right now. So we're kind of lean and mean. And, uh, you know, we back in the day when we did office products and office furniture and different supplements like that, we had up to 28 employees, two locations. Uh, so we've kind of narrowed it down to a, a, a select focus these days of uh, basically printing and processing film, digital camera, uh, one hour photo concepts, custom framing, and, um, and a studio, portrait studio. Well, I just happened to see a lady here at one of your, what did you call it, a little? She just gets cut that. No, no. <laughs> just, just, right, I don't okay. want to check out. Okay. Well, we, can go, we, can go, we can help you. <laughs> we can help you with that problem. And we just hit previous once you're back in. Okay. okay. Thank you. So this is where people bring their digital cards, camera cards in from their digital uh, cameras and, and can uh, go through and edit and select what prints they want to print. Um, over here we have uh, actually film equipment that people are still bringing film, disposable cameras. Uh, we still scan prints to slides. We do uh, photo restoration, which is kind of really intriguing. We just did a, a, a World War II battleship where it was all ripped up. And what we do is we, uh, we take it back and restore it to practically brand new, if not better than new. Uh, we also did it here with an old portrait which, you know, was torn off from the glass and went through and restored it perfectly on that end. We do a lot of things where people aren't sure where they take their old photos or do their, you know, how to take their old uh, medias like negatives or slides and, and create them now into a DVD. Uh, we also do large imprints, uh, up to 24 by 36s, on down to wallet sizes, right from your cards. Uh, we do photo collages, which is really nice to do. We do DVD uh, slideshows with music uh, incorporated into them. Um, those are some of the, the concepts that Heartfells has been. There are seven little kiosks here, which we do anywhere from print to print, uh, to your camera cards from your phone. Uh, we can download Bluetooth to your phone. That technology is incorporated in these. These are all networked to our, our, our professional lab, which is in the back here. And I'll show you where that is right okay. now. This is our main focus right now is all those little kiosks we have out there. When people are finished printing, uh, saying, go ahead and print my things, this is where it all comes out. This says portrait studio. Yes, we have a portrait studio here at Harpels. Uh, we've been taking pictures uh, since the early 1900s, uh, portraits and um, events, uh, weddings and events and, and uh, different sessions like this. Uh, we can print large photos. Here we just, somebody just emailed us a picture. Whoop, that's not good. Emailed us a picture of a sunset and we went ahead and printed it up for them. Beautiful. Uh, they'll be in tomorrow to pick that up. So again, anywhere, this person actually was in Florida 
and is coming home tomorrow and going to uh, want their prints ready to go for for their uh, their party tomorrow. Uh, we also do um, we have a custom frame shop. Uh, here you see some things lined up like uh, quilts and and photos that we double matted and things like this. This is really nice. Uh, people bring in their photos and then we make it into wall decor or we, we mat it. Um, or we have things like this is a 40th anniversary for a local company which we double matted and everybody signed it and they'll give it to the person for um, for their retirement dinner. And you bring in, we do senior portraits, we do um, business persons, uh, port head and shoulder shots for the newspaper, uh, children, pets. Uh, we're doing a calendar for K-Pets right now, which is a uh, donated calendar concept for 2011 we're shooting for already, uh, which is kind of nice. The little dogs come in and each of them have a different month. Like we did, we're doing December on, on Saturday. We just finished up doing a couple of the other dogs, which are kind of cute. So we do a lot of different things. We have 3D sets. And we have about eight different backgrounds here in the studio. Cool. See a little bit of the front, but this is our custom frame shop where we will come in here and um, this is our digital mat cutter. So what happens is we just basically go in here and design a mat. Um, say you want a double mat or a triple mat with five different openings. We go in here and just make it uh, make it happen right on our digital mat cutter. Uh, for instance, here we did a lighthouse that we're going doing for a customer and we cut out a lighthouse and some birds and uh, you know multi opening mat uh, when we put this all together it will look kinda cool and we're gonna typeset some information and put it in there we're gonna put it in that frame and it's all gonna come together changes for our studio they come in this way this is our custom frame shop here we have a custom couple of orders that came in yesterday and today we have a lot of the old uh, old army and Navy pictures. People don't know where to take their things. We can uh, custom frame them, double mat them. Uh, this was an award that was won by a gentleman the other day. So we're going to take this and we're going to lay it out with this mat. Put this here. Put that frame on it, and you're all ready to go. We do a large business with shirts, uh, memorabilia, sports memorabilia. We frame it in the big old box frames, which we have a number of different. Uh, things on display here so if a customer comes in and what they want to frame their shirts in or medals or medals of honor different uh, sports memorabilia we can acrylically uh, display basketballs baseballs maps uh, flags the whole deal five thousand Christmas cards uh, and that was a very very interesting uh, time because people bring in their photos they can either put them on these little kiosks and print them out in the back or we'll take them add their names and dates and things like that and then print them out, give them little cards, uh, little envelopes to go with it and out the door they go. Our average was about 200 to 400 cards per order. It was a very large uh, Christmas this past Christmas for greeting card business. Now we can print on canvas which is really awesome. You can uh, display it on the wall without a frame by wrapping the canvas behind it. We can also print on vinyl which if you look out, uh, out front uh, all our signage here is made on our printer and they, they stick on the window. And if you want to be really impressed, that little van out there we lettered with vinyl lettering from our printer. So we just stick and peel it right on the, right on the side of a building, uh, floor, you can put them on the floor for advertising. You can put them on your truck to, to go around and uh, that's the new graphical concepts that we have with vinyl printing. So I'm curious now. Is this it, it's actually glued on, not not static cling? No, it's not cling. It is actually a sticky back paper. You hang like a sign. You wet it. I wet this stuff with Windex and, and just squeegee it out, and it goes right to a window. When it dries, it's just like a, a hard vinyl adhesive. But you can get the colors. You can get the. You can take a portrait. All these portraits, if you look at it from the outside, are all full color portraits. You can't get that in vinyl graphics. Another thing we do all the time, every day, all day long, is uh, we do passport photos. Again, it, uh, we don't do the, pass the actual passports, we just uh, take the, the uh, pictures, the two pictures, two by two, we slide in these little deals here. We do with a digital camera that has uh, Bluetooth technology so we can be over at the other side shooting a shot and it automatically comes to our little printer here. A couple minutes later they're out the door with a passport photo. Uh, while they wait, they can enjoy a cup of coffee. We uh, do have kind of a... Uh, a coffee bar concept that we provide coffee or tea.